So here I've got just a chunk of clay sort of centered and I am actually going to just use the bottom of this. So if I can keep myself completely even and um, getting a couple pieces of wood that I could drag my noodle tool along would be helpful, I'm gonna kind of wing it today because I'm at home and I don't have a couple pieces of wood handy. Um, but now, oopsies, <laughs> slippery. Um, now I've got a, a flat slab of clay that's a little bit smaller um, that I can keep working with and I can stick that piece on in a little bit. I only want a kind of smallish slab right now um, because, of, because I'm going to use it as a floor of another piece that I put on here. So the other thing that's kind of fun about the wheel is that you can coil build and stick it on the wheel. Um, or you can, so, you know, anything you stick on the wheel, you're going to use the process of the wheel, which is spinning and touching it while it, it's going. So I am planning to add a piece onto here. So I have a, a um, extruded piece and I'm going to just score and slip. Okay. Good idea would be to measure. I'm going to rough it rough, rough, I'm roughly this wide. Um, but I need to clean my hands off to get it, uh, you know, put onto there. So I'm going to through the magic of video editing, I'll get that ready. So this is the extruded piece that I uh, extruded the other day. And I've just got a little one because I've got a problem with my extruder at home. Uh, we'll, we'll have bigger ones at school. So I've got this uh, more or less round piece um, that's been extruded and the bottom is basically flat. I'm gonna get in and uh, score it up and I can't remember where my scoring tool is. See, this is the problem. When you clean your studio for a show, then you put all your stuff away and you forget where it is when you're ready to use it. Um, all right, so I've scored here and I've scored here. I am gonna get a little bit of slip and because this is the drier side, I'm gonna put the slip, whoop, I'm gonna put the slip onto here. And uh, because I've been throwing for a little bit, I get slip that's just the stuff on the side of the, the um, water uh, dish. So I'm gonna get this on here. <laughs> this is much narrower than I thought it was. Um, so I'm going to score in the correct location. I'm going to get this on here, but I'm going to try to get it as close to centered as, you know, close to round as possible. And then I'm going to give it a little push. Now we're going to, uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of pressure down here. And then I'm going to get this, these dimensions to be a bit closer to what they, what they actually should be. So I'm just going to cut straight down into the clay, got myself nice and steady cut, oops, cut straight down. And if I do it while I'm not jabbering, um, sometimes can do it a little bit better. I'm gonna cut this guy off. Now, maybe this guy can be used later for a handle or something. I could set it aside or I could just recycle it. Um, so now I've got this secured on here. That is far larger than I need it to be. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of that off of there. So now I can, now I've got to be fairly gentle because there's not much clay here, but I can get my fingers in, get a little bit of water in there so I don't stick, and I can pull up that little bottom to cross across that seam, and then I can pretty gently pull this wall up. And so my, uh, I didn't have to center. I mean, I set it on there centered, but I didn't have to center a lump of clay. And I didn't have to check the, you know, plan the thickness of the bottom from the inside of the pot. I didn't have to pull those walls up. I'm just doing some refining, essentially. I am also going to use a needle tool to cut off the top. This is easier on the wheel than it is on the, uh, at the table because you are staying steady while the wheel spins to you. Now I'm gonna get a, I don't have a chamois ready, but I'm gonna get one ready. When you get the chamois, they're hard like this. You gotta soak them. Um, let me do that. In the meantime, I could mess around with a rib. What have I, what have I got that's an interesting rib? Yeah, I'm gonna use this one again. Um, so I could use a rib to decorate that outside wall if I want to. Make some textures that are kind of fun and interesting. My plan is to have you guys use slightly larger ones. This one's pretty little, um, but uh, gives you the idea. And then I can use this chamois. I'm gonna fold the chamois over the uh, surface of the clay. I'm not pushing straight down. I'm folding it over and squeezing the sides with my thumbs. Now this one's pretty dinky, 
probably wouldn't be the one I would recommend starting on because it's so so thin and small, um, but you get a sense of how to do this. Now, if you've got enough wall thickness, you can get inside and stretch that out. Um, and I am going to do that because I think it's pretty little. Um, but there we go. We've used uh, essentially a slab. I, I happen to throw the slab, but we could roll the slab as well. We've used a slab, we've used an extruder piece, and we've used the wheel. And we've combined all of those techniques um, together onto this one object. I'm going to do a little undercut. I am actually going to see what I can get inside and smooth the edge. I've got a rounded uh, stick, and so I'm going to get in there, and that inside edge is just a little messy. Um, but I can also, if my finger fits, I can get in there with a finger or even a paintbrush and get that nice and smooth. Remember to cut this off. So I'm going to use my rib to scrape away some of that clay at the bottom. Use your wooden rib, um, not your not your metal rib, you cut yourself. Um, then I'm going to get a little bit of water there and I'm going to wire this off. And because I am working on a bat, I can just take this right off of here. If you're not working on a bat, you can use pot lifters or you can um, get your hands clean and just lift this guy off of here. But I've got this piece uh, wired through on the bat. This is going to be able to sit for a little bit and get a handle um, either later today or tomorrow.